Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're continuing our Space Haven Alpha 15 Brutal playthrough. Let's get started. Alright, let's see where we left off here. So, we got a full crew, everybody's in good health. We have a little bit of Hyperium, a little bit of Energium, enough to get us by, but not too much. We're a bit low on water though. Um, we got pretty good amounts of raw materials. We don't have any infra blocks or tech blocks, and we're pretty low on scrap. So we're gonna be look gonna be looking for water. We're gonna be looking for scrap, and we're gonna be looking for blocks. We have our new X1 power generator online with the energium generator there as a backup. Um, so that's pretty good. We have three trades scheduled with the Mega Phyros and the Apocrita. I guess they're all with the Mega Phyros actually. So we're going to be purchasing some stuff here, some tech blocks. Some, we actually have some water coming on board and some raw chemicals, which is good. And we're selling them a little bit of biomatter. So let's fast forward a little bit, get our trading done. What are we working on in terms of research? We're working on researching the assembler. Now, the problem that we have right now is that it's hard for us to board derelicts because the derelicts are getting harder and harder. Um, we have two guys that are capable of wielding assault rifles, and they both have them. Um, and we have two guys that are pistol users that are working on learning how to use the assault rifle. Um, so it's just going to be a matter of trying to pick our engagements carefully uh, and give our guys time to practice. Uh, I saw a notice over here that there's not enough CO2, which might mean we need a CO2 producer pretty soon. Let's make sure we don't have all the vents closed or anything like that. No. Okay, so we're bringing on water. That's good. And let's see where we are in terms of the sector exploration. We're getting carbon in the next sector, which is really good. Um, and then I think after that, we're leaving this area and going on to this next neutral sector up here. So we got to be prepared. we got to have enough energy rods to be prepared for uh, inter-system transit. But I think we got that covered at this point. Going to be a little low on energy when we get to the destination. Looking at this here, trying to see if I can improve the heat efficiency. The problem that we have here is that I can't put a vent here because of this thing. I don't want to put a vent here because I want to have room to expand this generator later and make it a, a 4x4 instead of a 2x4 generator. Um, and we already have this side open. So it may be that we just need more cooling. So I think I'm going to install a life support. Actually, we don't have uh, the option to do that because we don't have any infra blocks currently. So... Um, Say we're just going to have to live with the heat on board, but eventually it's going to become untenable. We could take a look. I think we want to buy one infra block just for this, because we don't even have like infra scrap that we can recycle. These are 157. These are 159. Okay, so we're going to buy a single infra block from this guy here. Is there anything else we want to buy while we're in here? I don't think we can afford much else. We could sell them some Hyperion, some Hyperfuel, actually. That would be a good deal. Let's sell them some Hyperfuel. And... Is that a good trade? I mean, we're spending we're spending 197 which is only a little more than the cost of the infra block, but we're getting more Hyperium than we gave them and more Energium than we're spending to make that one unit of hyperfuel, so I think this is worth. And then once we get that transaction done, we'll be able to add a new life support thing over here. Can queue that for construction. Nice doing business with you, says 
Captain Dax King of the CS Apocrita. Gonna be King Dax. I thought uh, the Dax part goes first, or the Dax part goes second. That's a Deep Space Nine reference. Here we go. And let's jump. We got nothing more to do in this sector. Let's pick up some carbon, and we have another potential trading partner. We may have already traded with them before. Most likely we have. We've got two Merchant Federation ships here. And we got our one unit of carbon. UT Volunteer. That's an interesting ship name. We can actually... Oh, oh, we can do business with these guys. This is really good. So we could sell these guys some chemicals and buy raw chemicals from them. They both want chemicals, actually. And this guy had raw chemicals for sale, so we don't have to worry about running out of them. Although we also have plenty of raw chemicals. We don't necessarily have to buy more. So this is going to get us a little bit of money and a little bit of energium. That's pretty good. We can think about picking up a tech block, but I think I'd rather take the money right at the moment. And then to this guy, let's see if he wants hyperfuel. He does not want hyperfuel. Neither of them do. That's okay. Let's sell this guy some biomatter because he's given us a pretty good price for it, actually. That's 300 credits easy. And then I'm going to spend some of that on getting more raw chemicals and maybe some more blue crystals. And then maybe another infra block. Yeah, let's get another infra block. Oh, I can't afford it yet. I think that's fine. You can also see if these guys want biomatter as well. They do. I actually don't want to sell all of it because we need some for the algae dispenser. I'm going to save like three for that purpose. But it's good that we get rid of most of it because that's just resources sitting around that we're not using. There's this stuff I'll always have an immediate need for. Blue crystals and the green crystals. My pleasure doing business with you as well, Captains Frostkeep and Talkin. I wonder if we want to buy a little more water with our 500 credits that we now have. Unfortunately, neither of these kids have ice, as far as I could see. No. So, we're going to buy a couple units of water, like five more units, let's say, from this guy. That's... Uh, I think we can afford to stick with the water that we have right now. We've got enough to keep us for a couple days. That's enough to get us into the next sector. Uh, let's also make sure that we have enough beds for everybody. We do. So with that, we're ready to travel. We need base metals, do we? Mm, not really. We don't have our assembler online yet. We'll probably need some more once we get the assembler. These guys had cheap blue crystals, but we don't have a lot of money right now, so I don't think it makes a lot of sense for us to go back there. That's quite a few hops to get there. Lots of blue checkboxes. We're good to go. One jump away from the resource-rich sector. We might want to invest in building up shields before we get there. Because usually there's a lot of space hazards in the resource-rich sector. Another Merchant Federation ship, the Lone Gunman. Um, I'm going to take a look at our conditions here and see if any, any of our guys have chronic wounds. Casey has. And Dayton has as well. So we could potentially get medical treatment for these guys, which wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, especially Casey, since he's one of our... I don't know. Casey's pistol guy. Dayton's is a rifle guy, so we we might want to invest some in Dayton's health. We could sell a unit of hyperfuel here. 
Uh, we could get some fertilizer. We don't need that anymore because we can produce our own. What do we actually need from these guys? If you have the feeling that we should pr be producing more refined hyperfuel for sale, I think that's just an easy profit. I think we're going to start doing that. So let's grab one of these guys and one of these guys. We're paying 67 credits for this, but that's okay. And then, do I want to buy an infra block? Let's buy an infra block so we have one lying around for general purposes. Because right now we have zero infra blocks. Let's check our research queue. I think we do need the assembler before we do the shields. I think the shields are pretty expensive, if I remember correctly. And we might want the optronics fabricator as well before we do them, because this is necessary to produce energy cells. Um, this is so expensive. I don't know. Maybe we'll, we're going to try to hold off on that, I think. The shields. Even though it's a nuisance, it's not uh, the end of the world if our ship does get hit by meteoroids, generally speaking. Okay, we're done in this sector. I'll keep on keeping on. All right. Raw chemicals here are nice. That's pretty good. Looking at the surrounding areas here, we're going to go down to this sector next. Oh, we got three. That's pretty good. Hopefully we can find some ice in this sector. That'd be really helpful. Uh, super rude. Okay, we're going to weather the meteor shower because I think it's worth it to get the raw chemicals. I just hope we don't lose all our plants because then it wouldn't be worth it. These guys can take care of that, I think. Was that a door that we just lost? I think it was. It's unfortunate because it might take an infra block to rebuild it. Do we have a gas scrubber in that area? I don't see one. Yeah, we used up our one infra block rebuilding the door. That's a shame. I think I'm going to actually wall this off to keep our power systems protected because we don't have enough infra blocks to make another door. All right, and we're done with the meteorite shower. Everybody's got high body temperature. We'll figure that out. We're in a radiation sector, so I'm going to expect a little bit of higher temperatures around the ship. This is the industrial section. Okay, we got the mining hit going. That's good. So yeah, I think the main resources we're looking for right now are ice and carbon. And of course, anything we can get off of Derelict without getting our guys killed is bonus. Christian, hopefully go to bed. He apparently is only halfway done with his work day. Uh, okay, he's he's recovered a little bit now that he's gotten off of the pod. Civilian ship, nice. Oh, we get water in the next... We get ice in the next sector. I'm going to stop here and trade with the civilians before we go collect in the next sector because we're not going to get anything that's, like, super valuable for trading from there. And I want to make sure we have the opportunity to trade with these guys. And there's two civilian ships, so that's double good. All right. The Stellar Sailor wants chemicals. 
These guys also kind of want chemicals, so we can keep selling chemicals for profit. This is such a good deal. This is how we're building up our economy slowly here. Just buying raw chemicals and energy a little bit at a time. We're really, you can see our energy supply is going up and up gradually as we continue to work through our industry cycle here. Um, I think we're gonna actually go one blue crystal and I think we're gonna buy some more infra blocks here. So our, our cash reserve is actually going down a little bit, but we're accumulating a lot of resources. Reasonable excuse is the name of this other ship here. These guys want hyperfuel, so we'll give it to them. And then we're going to buy another one of these. And these guys actually have cheap infra blocks. So we're going to buy another one here. We could think about selling some soft blocks, but we don't have a way. Actually, no, we got 24 soft blocks. Let's sell these as well. 24 soft scrap, rather. So we can produce more blocks from that. And then we'll take another blue crystal to compensate for the production costs. We actually have 20 raw chemicals now, so we should... We should just be manufacturing using the chemicals we have and not bu not buying more chemicals at this point. So we can increase our chemical production cap from 4 to, let's say, 10. And as soon as this trade is done, I think we're already ready to move on to the next sector. We can think about investing in some tech blocks. I might want to actually buy... I'm going to produce another whole block from scrap here. There we go. I was thinking we might want to actually buy whole blocks, but I'd rather get them from a derelict if we can. Uh, we do have the assembler about to come online, so we won't really need to buy whole blocks at that point. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense for us to do that right now. All right, and we get some free stuff here. Assuming we can evade the slavers. Super rude, they're right on top of the ice. I mean, not that we would have gone mining here anyway. There's a military land ship here, actually. This is our sector, you're not welcome here, they say. If they stay in the sector with the military lines here, I think I might... Uh, darn it. Okay, we can stop here and get energy first, that's fine. A lot of enemies in this sector, but we got some military line ships around as well, so we might see some conflicts, which would be a really good way for us to get resources if we can survive long enough. I'm running a little low on water again. We know we've got ice in the next sector, so we just gotta wait for the slavers to leave. I'm feeling we might need a second mining pod, is what I'd like to say, but I don't think we actually have enough people with a mining skill to justify it. You can see there's... I mean, nobody's using it right now. Okay, we haven't done the whole scrap yet. One thing I'd like to invest in that I haven't done in previous playthroughs, ideally, is the surgical enhancements. Um, I'd really like to be able to get um, combat augmentations. I don't know which ones those are. I'll have to go look back at my preview video and actually went, it, I think it told me there, hold on. Dissecting human corpses though, I don't know how we're going to manage that. Rebreather. Um, so it actually tells us what all the individual things are here. Um, increases our health, health to 20. Or health by 20. Energy increased by 20. 
So this would make our crew tougher. Harder for aliens to take down, which is not bad. What I'd rather have, though, is accuracy. Which is this guy, I think. Skill potential. I thought there was one... Wasn't there, like, an ocular implant, I thought? Am I crazy? Did I make that up? I thought there was, like, an ocular implant or something that... Here it is. There's a second page of them in this first facility here. So we could... If we got the surgical facility by itself and we're able to get the cyberware parts, we could get ocular implants for our crew members. But we have to find three human corpses to dissect. So we'll have to keep that in mind going forward. If we have an opportunity... I mean, actually... Do we... We actually have a ton of human corpses, so that's not an issue. Um... So yeah, really, it's just... I didn't realize now you could see the build cost of these things by just clicking on them here. Um, we could actually do this. I think we could swing this. Let's um, add that to our queue. I think we're going to put that ahead of the jukebox. Sorry, jukebox. We're almost done with the assembler, so it probably doesn't make a lot of sense for us to suspend that. I think we're going to go check out this derelict here. And then we're going to be coming back looking for water shortly. Let's everybody on the away team get a little bit of sleep. Probably another towards the end of this hour should do. Okay, so we got that. Casey and Rafferty might fight here. Oh no, Rafferty's on the con. That's good. So you go check this out. Hopefully there'll be a path where we can loop through. This is a good sector. Um, I'm actually going to stop here first because we need the ice. And this is also an outpost, so we can trade here and make a lot of money potentially. Uh, we don't have a lot of trade goods yet, but we're working on it. Uh, but we definitely want that ice. What do they got? They got guns and basic guns and shields. Setterfeld Station. I don't know what Setterfeld means. Sounds inviting, I guess. Let's see. Hyperfuel, we can sell that for another green crystal. I definitely think we're going to introduce or increase our production cap for this. Let's increase it to at least two, maybe three. Um, we could also think about manufacturing weapons, actually. Um, although that takes carbon is the big problem with that. This also takes carbon, but it comes from steel. It's in the form of steel plates, which isn't too bad. We should get, we're going to issue oxygen tanks to our crew members that are licensed to work on the derelict ships. Um, let's go ahead and queue up our hyperfuel production. We actually do have a less than two rule, so we're actually just keep behind on our production. We actually do have two hyperfuel production in the queue. Oh, I was gonna... Oh, we got some ice here, didn't we? We did. Okay, so it's just a matter of time before that gets produced into water. Let's try to produce if water is less than 12. There's a guy, Dayton, that had the chronic wound. I think they have the medical service here. We got like 700 credits. They don't have the medical service here, actually. So the next time we see another civilian or military or whatever ship, we might engage them for medical service. Okay, we got the assembler technology. Where are we going to actually put the assembler is the next question. We want it to be ideally somewhere where... It can already be covered on our power grid. What I'd like to do is move this aftward, this uh, hyperdrive thing. Let's see if we can manage that. I don't know if we have enough hull blocks. I think we actually we do. We have two hull blocks now. That should do it. Should be enough, I think. 
So if we can move in afterward, it'll be covered by this power node. And then we can put an assembler up here with the rest of our industry stuff. Um, can we have somebody do the mining job? Christian has a skill of one. Vladimir has a skill of one. Dayton, one. Casey has a skill of four. Rafferty has a skill of six. Okay, so we're going to put Rafferty to work here. Uh, that's six hours, so we're going to give him five hours, because we're pretty close to the asteroid. Oh, shoot. He's doing the construction. Um, not what I had in mind here, but I guess that's okay. I'd really like to get this Hyperium if we could. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. I could have canceled this if I really wanted to. Casey's got the mining job now, but we ran out of time. We got to jump to another sector. So these guys are going to fight. Oh, hold on. We got an android ship in the sector. I don't know if they're enemies with the cultists, though. I don't think they are. Okay, we can ready. We can jump. We didn't take much damage here. Took a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, they're they're chasing the androids or traveling with them anyway. Okay, we're gonna drop back here again and just keep mining. It's nice that we got this whole section completed because when we can do the reorg that we were just talking about, and we're gonna stop closer to the asteroids because we've already got what we needed from the station, more or less. Expedite this. Okay, we got that online. So let's build our assembler. Yeah, the assembler can go anywhere here, basically, as long as it fits. I think this is good because it'll be able to vent heat on both sides of the machine. I kind of want it to be there. We could put in one more whole block for that. A more square of hole rather than whole block. Of course, now we have to wait for that. But once we get that, we'll be able to manufacture our own whole squares. We could really use another crew member. I think we're short on, we have a lot of um, skill deficit in certain areas, construction and industry. We have a lot of, yeah, we got 12 free jobs and 45 unstored items in the game time. The ship is just getting a little bit too big for the crew, for crew this size. So we gotta look for any opportunity to get another person on board. Um, I think we could probably... Oh, we're out of water, I just noticed. Hold on. Oh, we got uh, hyper fuel for sale now. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so this is... That's an easy 2,000 credits. Look how much that is. That's crazy. Um, so we can just buy 10 units of water now and still have... Still be able to get some energy and some Hyperium back in the next transaction. Um, and we can actually sell all the chemicals here as well. Yeah, that's good. So by the time, I don't know what the exact total is going to be, but by the time we're done, we're going to have about right around like 2,000, 2,500 credits, probably. Maybe more.
Uh, did we get this extra square built? No, we're still waiting on that, I think. Um, we might be out of... Okay, we do still have some whole block in there. That's good. So we can actually build this. It's just a matter of uh, pod time. And, uh, of course, crew availability. We're also getting to the point where we could start to think about investing in a logistics robot if we got the research done. Um, what was I going to build here? Assembler. Let's see, assembler. Here we go. At some point we'll want to expand this area a little bit and spread out our industry machines and make things more comfortable for the crew working here. But there's not much we can do about it right this second because we don't have enough hull locks. That's going to change though. Um, let's produce it. We have less than two hull blocks, less than two infra blocks. We don't have the ability to produce soft blocks because we don't have any fabric. What else can we do with these guys in terms of trading? They don't have any carbon, do they? They don't. Um, we might want to actually consider buying some base metals from them. They get base metals. They didn't have base metals. I take that back. I think we're good here. These guys are still giving us pretty good prices on hyperfuel. I don't know. Um, I think we'll leave that there, though. So we might be going into a derelict sector next, so we're going to have our guys sleep again. Hey, Relax House, how's it going? Good to see you, dude. You going to be streaming after this? That's good. I'm glad to hear that. So you fully recovered now, or just past the worst of it? Okay. Oh, nice. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Work in this one little square here. Let's see what we got. Uh, it doesn't look too bad so far. Oh, we see some creep over there. We gotta get over there quick. Faster we get there, the fewer aliens we'll have to fight. What on earth is going on with this pathing here? Dayton is like stranded on this island somehow. Here we go. That was super weird. Um, I'm not liking this too much. I saw multiple haulers there. I think we should uh, quit while we're ahead. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. If there was like one hauler, we could probably take it, but having two already hatched by the time we get there is no good. Maybe when we get some cyborgs, we could do it. Or some laser pistols. Yes, yeah, so we're working on surgical enhancements, so that should help with our combat capability. Um, what do we need for laser pistols? We've got laser weapons, energy rods, 5.7 pistol and assault rifle. The pistol and the rifle could actually be a problem to get for the experiments. Uh, we can definitely get the energy cells, although it might take us a little. We might have to get optronics online first. 
That's super unfortunate that we couldn't clear this. If the military alliance is still around, that is to say the ships, not this outpost, we could conceivably see if they can clear it for us. But I don't know if they'll do that. Maybe they only do that when they're in safe sectors. Okay, we got some ice. Very cool. No pun intended. Rafferty doesn't have mining skill, does he? He has two out of three, which isn't great. Can we have somebody code? Get this, I don't care who. Doesn't matter if they have one skill, because we've only got one resource to collect here. Let's have Dayton do it since he's right there, and he's just doing research anyway. You can see how backlogged our industry is because we have these rules here. We still don't have a single in for block on board. Um, okay, we got to check out that sector still and then go check out this branch. Oh, come on. Two cultist ships. I uh, don't like that too much. Might have to give them some money, which would be really not good. Oh, these guys are fine. They're little guys. Um, this guy's gonna shoot at us, but he's not gonna do a lot of damage. Good, nobody went this way. We got another derelict we can check out here, that's cool. derelicts, in fact. Alright, which one do we want to go for first? Let's do the smaller one. It's got an opening on the side here. Looks like it does, anyway. Oh boy. Nests everywhere now, at this point in the game. The nice thing is we, we spawn right in where the nest is, so we can just start shooting. Uh, and we killed almost all the eggs right away. So that's what we want to have in a nest scenario. We actually want to be real close to the nest at the start, so that we can get in there and get rid of those eggs. We're going to take a risk here and go into this room, even though I think it's a dead end. Because that way we get rid of all the eggs. Solar flare. Oh, that's super rude. I think we're going to weather the flare because this is going to be worth it if we get both of these derelicts. But we may want to get... Uh, I think we actually do want to clear these two ships first so that the aliens don't spawn while we're on board our own ship dealing with the flare or waiting for the flare to go off. Okay, we cleared that. So we're going to go immediately and clear the other ship. We might actually stop back at our ship briefly first for oxygen. Um, since it's in between. So we're going to stop here at the airlock. Just recharge the oxygen. Just in case we take a while to explore the space station. We got that. Now let's go check out the space station. And let's have... I think I'm going to have Rafferty sleep, actually, so that he's well-rested um, and can help with firefighting if he needs to. Oh, one of our guys is starving here. It's like, I've been fighting aliens all day. Where's my meal? Where's my lunch?
Okay, oh, it's a good thing we checked through that window first because this guy right on the other side of that door. Oh, we got a crew member. That's so clutch. All right. These guys are getting really accurate. I like that. Um, we're actually going to wait till after the solar flare, I think. Well, no, let's not do that. Let's Let's just get them right away. Okay, John, what do you got for us? John is a botanist, medical, research, and weapons. That's not bad. He has weapons three. That's actually really good for us, because we can add him to the away team right away. Um, give him an assault rifle, and he'll improve our combat performance. We're going to have him tag along with the away team for now, even though he's not a team member. doesn't have a weapon. That way, if one of the team members gets knocked unconscious, he can pick up a rifle and keep fighting. Civilian ships are coming in next turn. That's okay. They'll get hit by the solar flare, too, but... You know, if we're really lucky, maybe one of them will go derelict and we'll be able to get all their stuff. But more likely, what will happen... Oops. There we go. Okay, we're gonna undraft these guys. I'm gonna send them all back to our ship by overriding for sleep, and we're gonna do the same for John. And then we're gonna undraft the shuttle. Then we're going to wait out the solar storm. At least make sure we have both parties have everybody back here. I can't believe we found another guy already. That's so good. All right. So we got that. Let's have our guys that were starving eat here. They're eating algae. Not the best, but... Um, what can you do? We don't have enough carbon to sustain a higher food production is the thing. Um, we could maybe expand our grow beds a little bit since we just got an extra person on board, so they'll produce some carbon dioxide. Um, what do we have in terms of... We've got lots of energy here and some alien corpses. Over here we've got energy, water, and a bunch of other useful stuff. We're going to get that stuff first. Oh, here comes the flare. All right, let's get our guys into spacesuits. Everybody work. That was actually not bad at all. Was that it? That was weird. It's unusual for the solar flare not to set anything on fire. Okay, reasonable excuse. What do you got for us here? I actually traded with these guys once before, but they still want hyperfuel, so they're our buddies. All right. Friends don't leave friends without refined hyperfuel. What do we want from these guys besides more hyperium? Which, uh, let's get one more unit. Now we're getting 1,800 credits. We've already got 3,000. I think the next thing is to get medical service for our guys. I think we actually have the medical bed technology. So we could think about... Let's get a couple more tech blocks. Um, and then... I'm going to buy a couple infra blocks to speed things up a little bit because we're so backlogged in industry. That's going to be good for this transaction. And then... What do we want to sell these guys? Anything? We could sell them a little bit of space food, but I'd rather not... At the moment, we could sell them some biomatter. Here we go. I already feel undefeatable with my ship. Nor I think normal difficulty is way easier, but I didn't go to Pirate Bay ever. Uh, yeah, it is. the The game has gotten way easier because they changed the energy system when they when they changed the the wireless power grid. Uh, feature when they added that in that made the game way easier because you don't have to you don't need as much blue crystals now to run the ship it's like way more efficient now that's like the main big balance change i think oh the other thing is i guess the crew skills can get a little bit higher um although i think they adjusted the, the skill effectiveness to kind of compensate for that when they introduced the skill system or the learning system rather
still don't have a shuttle going over to here yet. That's okay. I think we're gonna go ahead and spring for the medical service here. It says they need 48 hours. We can afford to get them 48 hours, I mean, why not? Let's get our guys fully healed. Uh, although the alternative is we could also just buy medical supplies and build our own med bay. I think that's actually a lot cheaper. Yeah, let's build our own med bay. I think we have the technology already. Let's check. Um, we do. So this takes one tech block, one soft block, two infra blocks, which we have. Where are we going to put it is the question. You want it to be somewhere comfortable. I think we could potentially put it next to the crew quarters. Let's work on that. So I'm going to expand this out like here. And then I think we're going to have a little medical facility next to the crew quarters that has a surgical enhancement and the med bay. Unable to sleep, need a safe place to remove spacesuit. Maybe you want to go back on the shuttle? There we go. Okay, he figured it out. I think this will help even out the temperature on the ship, too, this hull expansion. We don't necessarily need to produce more life support over here. Although we might want to have one on the end or somewhere here. Is this all the way out to the whole wall? We can make that one more longer if we wanted to. Oh shit. Oh fudge. We get caught with our pants down here. It's really bad. Um, okay, he's building walls, that's okay. Do we take the ceasefire? We can always call them back and surrender. So I'm gonna say no for now. I think we can make it. We're halfway there. Be nice if they would shoot the civilians, though, instead of just us. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, actually, we managed to make it out. It wasn't as terrible as I thought it might be. Had some real bad experiences with getting attacked by slaver ships. We're going to stop here, just repair everything, and finish our construction that we're working on, and wait for the slaver's guild to go away. Put out all the fires, that kind of stuff. Not necessarily here to pick up any resources or anything like that. There's nothing here for us. But we can take a minute to recuperate and recharge our hull stabilizer. Definitely time to think about investing in an sh uh, energy shield, though. I'm going to do this just so that notice goes away. Cool. We could also invest in as a targeting jammer, but that's way down the tree. We'd have to get the shield generator first, actually. We're going to add this to the list, the shield console. And the shield generator actually doesn't take any... Um... This actually gives us the basic generator, which is probably enough for our needs for right now. I'm going to put the jukebox ahead of the advanced generator. And I actually thought it was going to take a bunch of resources, but it only takes basic research. And then we also want to queue the Optronics Fabricator. Because we're going to need energy cells to power that. There we go. This is also convenient to give our crew a chance to catch up with some backlog tasks. 
second part here like this. Got a lot of stuff going on on board. Uh, we need to finish our space there. We could actually make this a door. That would add a lot of path like new pathing options. I think I like that idea, especially because the airlock's right there and the crew members can go there in the event of an emergency and get stuff. The only thing I don't like about it, though, is the placement of this. I'm trying to see if there's an easy way we can fix that. I think if we move this wall over by one, so we'll move this life support thing over by one. We're going to move this wall over by one. We're going to move this bed a little bit, and then we're going to put the door here. And that enables us to put a wall over here or over here to give us a little more space to build on this side. Okay, so we're going to move this now. And then this is going to move over. And then this is going to move over. Let's do it like that. Did that give us more space? I don't think it did, really. Um, hmm. Let's cancel that. I'm going to move this desk over to here. And then... Can we move this other bed in here? Not really. Maybe we can move this lab and then have make another little bedroom area here. We're going to move the lab here for now. We're not using it that often. The reason I put it there originally was to contain fires, but we've got a big enough crew that that's not such a huge worry now. Um, I can actually move this over to here. And we're still recharging our whole stabilizer and waiting for the Slaver's Guild to leave. Casey's going to come demolish Rafferty's bed, because that's just how Casey does. And also because we need it to be moved for construction purposes. Um, Where's this thing going to go? I think it's going to live where that bed is. I'm going to put that over here for now. And then we're going to move the bed and then redo the nightstand thing. Still don't have any privacy. It's not really an ideal sleeping quarters arrangement. Okay, and then this thing can move to this corner here. Then we can have a door here and then a wall there and another door. Good. We could make this a double door, actually. But I think I'd rather make it a single door. So we can have a little more space to build in this room, and we, can, we can't expand that room anymore, actually. So it doesn't really matter. We can... Let's think about how this room is going to be laid out. I don't know how big the surgical facility is. I don't think it gives us the footprint in the research thing. So maybe this is it. Maybe we just put that there and then we leave this open for the surgical facility and then there's nothing else in there really except maybe like a nice painting or something. Um, so let's do that. So we could actually make this a double door. But it doesn't really do us any good because there's like a one wide corridor there anyway. Maybe we do that and then we could put a nice painting over here or something. And we should put some thermal regulation in there, too. It's nice now that we have the assembler, we can actually just, like, spend blocks and build things. We don't have to wait, we don't have to wait in, like, Scrabble to try to get all our resources together, now that we have the manufacturing capability. We just have to wait till all of our construction jobs get done, is all. Uh, who's good at construction? Casey is... he's also our miner. Rafferty is. He's also our maintenance and our industry guy. We're going to have Casey focus more on construction first, followed by industry, followed by logistics, 
followed by research. Um, you can work on maintenance too. That'll help. So that'll help our. Now we have somebody who's prioritizing construction, so we'll get that done a little bit quicker. Just monitoring our resources here as we're sitting in this sector with no resources in it. Just making sure we're not running out of anything. So far we're fine. And we got a medical facility. How cool is that? And Dayton is getting healed. We don't have any nutrients, but we, we're going to go buy some once we run into those civilian ships again. But in the meantime, he can at least recover there, and he can deal with his um, I don't know, protein deficiency or whatever. He's gotten some boat bonuses there anyway. Okay, we're going to go check out the other half of the sector, because that slaver's guild ship is not moving. We might try to do one or two static hops first to see if we can... Can we get this done? We're out of infrablox. We're waiting for infrablox production. Anything holding up the infrablox production? Just lack of industry capacity. That's what I want to say. We're going to wait one sector here and see if they jump. Come on, go away. Give me my loot. Give me my loot. There we go. Alright, now we're going to pick up some f more free stuff. And we're just going to chill here for a little bit. Once we picked up all of the cargo, then we can also start doing some salvaging here. We just have to keep an eye on our water supply. So I don't think we're picking up... Oh, we did pick up a couple of water units here, actually. I think that was water. Yeah, a couple of water units. Not too much. Was this sector having a solar flare before? I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to weather the flare because it's worth it to get all this stuff on here. It's just a shame that we have to weather it again the second time. Okay, we can get all the energy crystals over here. We got tons of energy crystals now. We're not going to have to buy blue crystals for quite a while. Good thing about ramping up our energy rod production. Actually, it's already at 10. That's probably plenty. Uh, oh, we need to think about at some point we got to build another hypersleep chamber for our new buddy here. Let's go ahead and add that in over here. could wait a while to build this because we're going to be exploring this sector for a while but I don't want to forget about it and then be at the end of the sector running out of resources or whatever and not be able to build it okay here's the flare let's have everybody get spacesuits on uh, have everybody work the next four hours uh, okay we did some we did get some fire this time but it looks like somebody put it out right away that was again not too bad Cool. What is... Hey, Tom, how's it going? Uh, the sleep chamber is actually for traveling in between sectors. Uh, it's relatively... It's been in the game for a couple of versions, but depending on what the last version you played was, it, it is somewhat new. Um, it... Hold on, let me just... Um, deal with this building block real quick. I gotta m move this over because the generator's in the way here. Um, but what it does actually is, when you if you look at the overworld map here, um, the what the hypersleep chambers do is allow you to travel safely f in between the major points on the map here. So if you go down to the individual sectors, you can travel between these sectors and between these solar systems without using that. Uh, oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Also, hey, Zinlu. Um, but so you can travel within these 
individual nodes without spending without using the hypersleep chambers but when you do these long distance travels in between the different sections that's when you use the hypersleep chamber um, you need one hypersleep chamber for every crew member otherwise they get whammied with space sickness which if you're playing on a harder difficulty is actually really debilitating it can knock your crew member out make them unconscious for days and they can actually die if they have you know other injuries or illness or stuff like that um, and uh, yeah so it's pretty bad uh, so you want to get these built before you leave your first uh, main sector. In the, the lower difficulties, I think the hypersleep sickness is not that bad. There is like a setting in the difficulty dials that lets you decide how bad it is. But uh, you want to basically... So uh, each one of these things uses half of an energy rod per uh, interstellar jump. So you want to save up a couple energy rods early on just for these guys. Uh, let's move this over. And then I'm going to move this over as well, even though it's going to waste an energy rod, because I want to fix this pathing issue. Actually, could we move the... How did I say that? Cancel this. Cancel this. I'm actually thinking we can move the generator instead. That would probably be cheaper, actually. Although, we have 50,000 units of backup power stored in here, so that's probably not cheaper, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, we got all of the transfer here. And I think we can basically pick up everything here. We've used up almost all of our scrap. The only thing actually we don't really need is soft scrap right now. It's a nice to have, but we're going to take everything else. And we can use... We're okay on base metals for right now, but we won't pick up some anyway. Because we're going to be doing a lot of assembly in the near not too distant future. Oh, we actually have some ice I didn't realize. So our water supply is actually good for a while. Uh, what are we working? Okay, we got our medbay online. I think, did we heal our chronic wounds? Let's see. Who is it that uh, Dayton had one? No, he hasn't healed yet because he doesn't have the medical supplies. We need to get an IV. I get a message from Mercury. I'm going to check this real quick and see what this is. It was tricky with water. It produced too much food and then almost suffocated because oxygen generators need water too. Yeah, you got to be careful not to to make more grow beds you can actually handle. There's there's basically two limiting factors. One is the water, as you found out, and then the other is um, carbon because uh, you actually need CO2 to run the grow beds. If you have a large number, you can run out of CO2 if you don't have a carbon producer, or you don't have enough carbon. Uh, you also need a little bit of water for the uh, algae dispenser, if you're using an algae dispenser. And that takes biomatter as well, which is something that I actually saw a streamer um, early on, a couple versions of the game ago, actually died. They lost their playthrough because they, uh, used, they got rid of all their biomatter, and then they weren't able to operate the... Um, the algae dispenser anymore, so they ran out of food. So you need to save a couple units for that purpose. We're short of, yeah, I'm, I'm always running short of raw chemicals, I feel like, especially in the early game. They're really good trade goods because almost no ship has the, the processed chemicals for sale. Um, yeah, carbon, I think, is the rarest of all the things. Of all the different resources that you can find. Is it me or is the pitch of your voice getting lower? Didn't turn in the stream for a month or two. Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure about that. I mean, it's possible, I guess. It could also just be the way that I'm speaking. Like, uh, no, I'm not a smoker. Maybe I was speaking in a more upbeat way or something like that. Now I'm kind of mumbling. I'm trying to remember the term for it. There's a thing that's like, um, 
there's a particular way of speaking that's kind of like muttering in the back of your throat that's low pitched that I, I'm guilty of a lot of times. Um, so if I sort of remember to put some energy in my voice and speak at a higher pitch, it's actually better for my voice and uh, it makes it sound a little bit nicer, but it's sort of not really my habit. So maybe I, I might speak in a lower voice sometimes because I'm not uh, remembering to do that. That's also That also might be why. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, somebody got sick from the algae here. All right, I do have to actually wrap up because I got a work thing I got to get to. Um, it's really good to see everybody. Thanks, you, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, Relax House, Tom, Zinlu, uh, good to see you all. Uh, Folks, if it's the first time checking out the channel, don't forget to follow if you enjoyed the stream. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. It's free if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching and for hanging out and chatting with me. And I will see you next time. Have a good afternoon. You too.